Hi everyone, Richard from Digital Foundry here with a bit of a budget CPU shootout as we compare the new Intel Core i3-6100 with our resident last gen Intel i3, the 4130, as well as the AMD FX6300, another well respected chip found in a great many budget gaming PC builds. Couple of notes before we begin, you'll see that we've benchmarked both of our i3s at the maximum speed allowed on budget boards, along with using higher speed RAM on a more expensive board. Yes, in situations where the processor is the bottleneck in the system, faster RAM can make a difference as you can see here. And we should also point out that our Gigabyte AM3 Plus board used with the FX6300 didn't really want to cooperate with our fast DDR3, locking it to 1600MHz only. It would also be remiss of us not to point out that there's a clock speed differential between the 6100 and the 4130. The older Haswell chip runs at 3.4 GHz, while the new Skylake processor runs at 3.7. However, the speed bump is pretty clear to see, and when it comes to budget processors, the more power you have available, the better. So how are we comparing frame rates here? It's often the case that gaming performance is held back by your graphics card, not the CPU. To turn that about, we've paired each processor with the fastest single chip GPU money can buy, Nvidia's Titan X, and we've overclocked it for good measure, bringing CPU performance and memory bandwidth to the fore. The job of the CPU is to run the game logic and simulate the scene, then prepare the instructions for the GPU to process Process. This latter element can sap processing resources, so to ensure that the CPU workload is accurately represented we're running at ultra settings. Put simply, the more things being drawn, the more work the CPU has to do. And that's something that's really important in benchmarking gaming performance. We'll leave you to watch the benchmarking process unfold, but it's pretty clear that Skylake takes point on every single one of the games in our test suite. It's easily faster than our 4130, which is perhaps not surprising once generational improvement, RAM speed and clock speed are taken into account. And on top of that, the FX6300 really can't compare. However, all of these chips still hand in pretty decent performance, and the FX6300 in particular does well, bearing in mind it's now 3 year old technology. It's just a shame that we couldn't run it with faster RAM to get an idea of how well it could operate at its very best. Certainly it seems that Rise in particular really requires fast memory for it to perform well. At lower RAM speeds, all three of our test processors here really suffer. Anyway, that concludes our budget CPU testing. Given the choice, we'd get the i3-6100, but do bear in mind that running with RAM at speeds higher than 2133 MHz does require a more expensive motherboard, particularly relevant with a budget build. So do bear that in mind when making your purchases. But that's all we have for now. Please do give us a like if this video was useful to you and subscribe to Digital Foundry to ensure that you don't miss any of our vids. Thanks for watching. No targets are reachable. Out of the way. Move. Where the hell is Ducheneau? Oh. If you can't find a weakness to exploit, make one. You've secured the cathedral? Oui, monsieur. Good. Tell Sivert, I'll meet him inside. Opportunity's everywhere. It's on you to take it. You! Get back here with my keys! Thieves! And if all other plans fail, why not sacrifice yourself for the cause, your life for his, before Altair? That was the Levantine approach. You mean a dagger in broad daylight as I'm cut down where I stand? It sends a powerful message. I'll do it my way. Whatever you think best, assassin. Probably not. On your right! Shoot! Them! Fucking hell! Watch out!
Psycho! This train is full of highly explosive material. Yep. Your plan? Yeah. Come on, you bastards. Oh, no! 